In this simulation, we have two hot plates and a burette, an Erlenmeyer flask and some beakers, a top loading balance, two thermometers, a graduated cylinder, weighing boats, and some samples to work with. To begin, add the 0.5 molar HCl to the burette by clicking on it and note the initial burette volume. Then, turn on the balance and add a weighing boat and tear the mass. Now you can add some of the borax sample to the weighing boat and note the mass. Click on it to add it to the 250 milliliter beaker. Make your borax solution by adding deionized water to the 250 ml beaker. Then click on your solution to move it to the hot plate. Turn on the hot plate by clicking the red button to start the heating process. And you can monitor this process closely by adding a thermometer to the beaker and turning it on. While the solution is heating, you can click on the deionized water bottle again to add it to the 100 milliliter beaker. Then add that beaker to the second hot plate and add another thermometer. When the 250 ml beaker has heated to 60 degrees, you can take another weighing boat from the shelf, tear its mass, and add some additional borax. Then add that borax again to the 250 ml beaker. Once the added borax is dissolved, you can remove it from the hot plate to start the cooling process. You can use the thermometer to monitor the temperature of this beaker. When the beaker has cooled down to the appropriate temperature, click on it to add some to the graduated cylinder. Then you can add the solution in the graduated cylinder to the Erlenmeyer flask, and subsequently add the bromocresol indicator from the shelf by clicking the top of the dropper. Once the solution turns blue, click on the Erlenmeyer and move it to the stir plate. Titrate the solution by hitting your down arrow key until the solution turns the appropriate color. At that point, you can zoom in to read the scale on the burette. Now you can click on the Erlenmeyer to move it back to the table and click it again to clear it. Click on the 100 milliliter beaker to rinse the graduated cylinder and then refill the burette with HCl. Again, don't forget to note the starting volume of the burette because it isn't always at exactly zero. When your borax solution is at the next appropriate temperature, repeat the titration again by clicking it and adding another five mils to the graduated cylinder. You can repeat the titrations as many times as you wish at various temperatures.